three women with similar stories. You start to deal with a lot of pain and fatigue, bladder issues, joint pain. All sharing a laundry list of symptoms. Soreness under my armpits. I was tired. Brain fog. With one thing in common. They are part of a growing number of women around the world who believe their breast implants made them sick. NBC2 investigator Rachel Polanski explains why and how these women are going to the extreme to get well. Maybe it's photos like these that fuel a societal pressure. Growing up, just being teased. To look a certain way. Not having a good opinion of what I wanted to look like. Have a certain shape. It was something that I've always dreamed of having. Robin Lord. I did it. Knew that she wanted them. I got my implants in 2003. But she did not know about the dangers in getting them. Did you know of the risks involved? No, I did not. Robin's answer is common. I asked the same question to Kim Barden. I was told they were absolutely safe. And Raquel Stolba. Not at all. And did your surgeon tell you about any of the risks involved? No, I thought these would last forever. I wasn't given a pamphlet. I wasn't given any information at all. I was booked to have surgery a week later. Five years after that surgery, Kim says her health started to plummet. I was in constant pain. For a decade, she battled exhaustion, joint pain, and depression. She says doctors couldn't find a cause. I felt like I was going to die, and I wanted nothing more because I couldn't live that way anymore. But now she believes the information she found in this Facebook group so saved her life. When you, when you joined this group, how many members were there? Less than 3,000. And how many members are there now? Over 70,000 and growing each day. She's not exaggerating. The private group is called Breast Implant Illness and Healing by Nicole. And today it has more than 79,000 members. I was like, this is... Unbelievable that this can happen to so many people. Page after page, that's my story, that's my story. Everyone has the same symptoms. The group is private because women share personal photos and stories about their breast implants and explants. That's when women have their implants taken out. I'm now day 68, and I do not have several, several big symptoms that I had. After joining the Facebook group and talking with other women, Raquel, Robin, and Kim all went under the knife again this time to remove their implants. My symptoms were gone almost immediately. But is there really enough evidence to prove a connection between breast implants and illness? Yes, in my opinion. Depends who you ask. Can implants make women sick? So we don't know that. Since I trained at Harvard MIT, I know a little bit about analyzing science, and I really think the science is kind of lacking. There's no evidence to show that there's a link between implants and any illness. Dr. Marguerite Barnett has performed more than 3,000 explants. She shows me a pair of smooth silicone gel she removed on the morning of our interview. Both of these implants were in the same woman. Yes. Put in at the same time. Exactly. Why are they different colors? That's a very good question. Is this why we need more research? Hello. And that's something that both plastic surgeons can agree on. More research need, needs to be done. There's so much we don't know. So what do we know? Breast implants are considered medical devices regulated by the FDA. The agency has said implants have a reasonable assurance of safety and effectiveness. When I asked a spokesperson about patient-specific symptoms, she said while the FDA doesn't have definitive evidence demonstrating breast implants cause these symptoms, the current evidence supports that some women experience systemic symptoms that may resolve when their breast implants are removed. She went on to say that the FDA is still investigating the cause of the association. I'm not here to tell women that have breast implants, go get them taken out. In the meantime, these women tell me they'll keep sharing their stories. I'm just asking that you educate yourself. To empower women. I love my body the way it is. I want to live. I want to be a grandmother one day. And redefine sex appeal. After the FDA held a two-day meeting in March to discuss claims around breast implant illness, agency officials pledged to take action. Now, that could include making changes to the labeling of some implants to include a black box warning, as well as updating the patient-doctor informed consent process that takes place before surgery. I have all this information and a list of resources for you posted on our NBC2 app. Live in the newsroom, Rachel Polanski, NBC2.